Hey everybody, what's going on? Frankie Love coming at you. Today we're going to talk about this Daniel Bryan situation. Okay. WWE, the geniuses that they are, after they got rid of ECW earlier this year, they created NXT. You know, the next generation of superstars. And well, this week they were supposed to eliminate one guy. However, because their ratings for this show have been in the toilet bowl, they threw everybody a curveball and eliminated three guys. One of them being Daniel Bryan, who is, without a doubt, the most talented guy they had on the show, regardless of the fact that they buried this kid and made him lose every single match. With the exception of the night before on Monday Night Raw where he scored the pinfall for his team. Now, people that know wrestling know Daniel Bryan as the American Dragon. Bryan Danielson, who was a world champion in Ring of Honor, Full Impact Pro, uh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla. This kid's been wrestling since, well, like he said, for 10 years and he was trained by Shawn Michaels. Now... Yeah, you know, this whole situation just boggles the mind. I mean, your most talented guy that you've been burying for whatever reason, and you get rid of him. I mean, it annoys me because week after week I have to hear David Otunga talk about how great he is and that Jennifer has. Hudson is his fiance. You know what, David Otunga? Your fiance, Jennifer Hudson, I think she sucks, and so do you. But that's besides the point, okay? The most, like I said before, Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson, is the most talented guy they have, and they bury him on this show. But you know what the funny thing is? Okay. This is going to make you laugh. WWE's whole intention from the beginning was to bury this kid. That's right. Bury Danielson and make him look like a fool. Why? Why, you ask? I'm going to tell you why. Because their whole plan from the beginning was to bury him like they did, get rid of him like they did, and guess what they're going to do? Mm-hmm. They're going to bring him to Monday Night Raw. That's right, they're going to bring Daniel Bryan to Monday Night Raw. As guess who? That's right, Bryan Danielson. So they bring this kid in under a different name, which was his name backwards, only to bury him, to bring him back under his original name. Mm hmm? What are you thinking? Okay, now my other question is this. Now, let's see. They're going to bring him to Raw as Bryan Danielson. Now what? Are they going to act like he was never around before? Are we going to supposed to forget that he was Daniel Bryan on NXT? Knowing the powers that be at WWE? Sure, we're supposed to probably forget all that, and he's just going to be some new guy, Bryan Danielson. Now, what do they have in store for him? Who knows? But I guarantee you, now is when he gets a push he's supposed to get as Bryan Danielson. I don't know. Maybe they'll eventually team him up with John Morrison and put him put him in a tag team feud against, uh, who else? The Miz and Chris Jericho. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. See, now, nah, see, that's the other thing. I mean, this kid was the rookie and the Miz was his pro. Meanwhile, this kid's been wrestling more than the Miz. Is a better wrestler than the Miz. And I gotta be honest with you, Brian Danielson is so good... If it wasn't for creative, this kid would probably destroy 95% of the roster that WWE has, including that no-talent John Cena. Could you imagine Brian Danielson just going in there, beating the crap out of Cena and making him tap out? You know what? It could happen. It should happen. But it won't. Why? Because WWE won't do that. Anyway, I just want to update all of you on the ridiculousness of WWE 
and what they do, taking people for fools. I'm Frankie Love, I'm out, y'all have a great day, peace. I've been talking long enough, I'm sick, I'm tired, and I'm, I'm not gonna talk anymore about this, cause it's just pissing me off.